disturbing culture of radicalism has been revealed at a primary school in Sydney's southwest involving children in Year 5. Seven News reporter Jess Dietrich is at Punchbowl. Jess, teachers are speaking out about this. Yeah, that's right. Now, News Corp has obtained, uh, obtained a number of uh, complaints from former teachers at Punchbowl Public School. Uh, one woman in particular claims it all got too much for her. She had to quit her job. Uh, the final straw being receiving death threats against her family uh, from her year five and six students, some of them uh, threatening to behead her. Now, uh, prior to that, she claimed she'd made a number of complaints back in 2014 about some of the behaviour in her classroom. She claimed she was uh, abused when she saw stopped uh, a, a number of students from flying a Syrian flag in the classroom. She uh, was pushed into a corner uh, by some students who then began marching around her chanting the Quran. And she says there was constant talk of family members fighting in the war uh, in Syria and that certain students would just walk out midway through uh, a lesson to go and say their prayers. Now, according to News Corp, at least three former uh, teachers here had to receive counselling or stress leave or even compensation. Now, what is worrying that is that uh, because this was a few years ago, uh, those students have probably then graduated onto the school down the road, Punch Bowl uh, Boys High, where we understand that the former principal there I was kicked out after refusing to allow the education department to run a counter extremism program there targeting uh, students at risk of radicalisation. Thank you, Jess.